Hey, and welcome back to A Crew A Youth Evolution. And with this is episode 12. And in the last episode, we went over our youth intake and the possibilities. Obviously, you can see Kinsobi there is now our hot prospect. And I've been looking at ways that we can develop him because at the moment he's an attacking midfielder, but he's not going to fit into my tactic. So I'm, I'm hoping that we can retrain him as a central midfielder, advanced playmaker. So we'll see how that goes during this save but we're gonna have a look back at some of the fixtures since of the last time we did play so since the last two games in episode 10 uh, where we beat Colchester 2-1 and Lincoln 1-0 we went to Forest Green and we got a 1-0 win thanks to a late goal from Lewis Riley and then things went really bad and we lost big style to Stevenage. Brad Walker with the only goal for us, Del Gorman scoring for them, Ben Kennedy also scoring a penalty, and Alex Samuel back in the third goal for Stevenage. Then we had a home game against Coventry, Jody Jones scoring a late goal in the 81st minute. I thought it was going to be a nil-nil, but apparently not. And then Newport County with another goal in the 81st minute from Sean Mikulski so in all our form has been atrocious but we are still sat luckily at first in the league we've got a five point gap from Lincoln and hopefully in this episode we are going to kick on and we're going to get a couple of good goals and get some more points on this table and try and secure this top spot so the match preview we're away to Barnett uh, we are the favourites, even though uh, we haven't been playing well. Uh, we've been after the last three defeats in a row, we're still sitting first, but we're playing 18th place Barnet, and hopefully we can kick on and get the three points today. They've got a few injury problems, we've got no issues that I know of, and let's move on to today's team selection. So today's team lineup: we have Ben Garrett and goal. Woodcock at left back, Warren coming back in at right back, with Cook and NJ in central defence. We've mixed up the midfield a little bit, we've got Nidium playing on the left side, with Jones in the middle, with Brad Walker on the right side of the central midfield. And then we have Cooper on the left side of attack, Broadhead on the right, with Sterling up front. Barnett, they're playing a 5 2 one 2 they've got Ramsdale in goal. Kizos, Azantos and Humphreys in central defence. Wingbacks of Johnson and Brindley. We have Weston and Taylor in central midfield. Cantwell in the attacking midfielder position with Akindi and Goldtrist up front. So let's kick on and hopefully sort out this bad form that we're in at the moment. As the teams warm up, we're having a bit of a huddle. We need to sort out this bad form and let's kick off. Broadhead having a quick run down the right hand side he's got past his man Sterling he's brought back out Broadhead's crossed Cooper and it's a really early goal for us George Cooper Broadhead here done magnificently crossed the ball in Sterling controlled the ball got it back to Broadhead who then crossed it it came off one of their players but Cooper was there Poacher's goal from the attacking midfielder on the left side. Garrett here with a goal kick. Gone long, but no, none of our players, but we've now got it. Warren to Walker. Walker's making a run down the wing. It's crossed into Broadhead. Broadhead's trying to get across. It's now Cooper, Walker, and he's gone out for a corner. The short corner to Broadhead, who's crossed it in. Hasn't found one of our players. It's now Cook on the ball. He's got it forward, but no one can get hold of that one. It's Johnson here for Barnett. And now it's gone really wide to Brindley. He's all on his own. A kindy, and it's now a one all. Humphreys here with the with the free kick. Took it to Johnson. Johnson then went to Cantwell. Cantwell passed it out wide to Brindley. And Brindley got a good ball into the middle in a candy. Header all on his own. It's Walker here on the ball. Nidium to Cooper. Cooper to Walker. Walker to Broadhead. Broadhead's crossed it in. Sterling hits the crossbar. 
Brindley with the throw into Campwell. Campwell's returned the ball to Brindley. He's crossed it, but Cook's there. Now Weston, Taylor, McKindy, and it's well cleared by Garrett. Taylor out to Coultrist. Back to Taylor. To Campwell, who shoots, but doesn't get it on target. Garrett with the long goal kick, aims for Sterling, doesn't quite find him, broadhead to Walker, Walker into Nidium, Nidium's got it forward to Cooper, but he's lost it now, Cooper's retrieved the ball, Walker's now had a shot, but he's not got it on target. So half time here, it's Barnett 1, Crew 1, George Cooper with the early goal, but cancelled out later on by Akindi in the 23rd minute with a, a cracking header, and we're going to make a change because Walker picked up an injury, and I'm hoping it's not too bad, but we're going to get him off, let him rest up, and hopefully it won't be as bad as it could be. So we kick off this second half. Barnett on the ball. Taylor to Car Cantwell. Cantwell to Brindley. Brindley the long ball forward to Kindy, but he can't find him. It's now Sterling on the ball. He's lost out to Humphreys. Garrett here with the long ball forward. And can he get Sterling? He can't. It's Cantwell who's recovered the ball. It's Akindi now running forward, but he's had a shot and it's gone well wide. It's Cooper now. Can he make the difference? Cooper's across the ball, but it's gone straight to the goalkeeper. Ramsdale in control. Arnott are coming forward here. Weston. Nidium's intercepted. Dale's got a ball over to Cooper. We're on the break. Cooper's crossed it in. Gone to Dale. Dale's had a shot, but it's not on target. Ramsdale with the long kick out. Akende. He's been lost out, but they're back in control. Weston coming forward, and they've earned themselves a corner here. And can you believe it? We've been hit by another late goal. Behetti here takes the corner, Johnson nods it down, Mason Clark grabbing his first goal for Barnett. 2-1 Barnett. So full time here, another loss. We've gone down to Barnett with a 92nd minute winner. 2-1. It started off well, but I don't know, we, we've got to sort something out here. We're just not getting the performance out of the team at the moment. That's our fourth straight loss in a row. And... Well, we need to change something, that's for sure. So, the second game in this episode, we are at home to Port Vale. Fierce rivals, Port Vale haven't been doing very well in the league, they're 22nd. We're still currently occupying that first spot, despite our run of four games without a win. And I'm hoping that today we can actually get something out of it. Uh, Broadhead and Brad Walker are both out after the injuries in the previous game so I've got a little bit of mixing up to do so let's have a look at the team lineups for today. So our lineup for today we have Ben Garrett in goal, Woodcock at left back, Warren at right back, we're cooking NJ in central defence, we've got Rogers and Nidium and Jones in central midfield with Cooper on the left side of attack. We've put Sterling on the right side of attack for this game and got Riley playing up front as the striker. And I'd like to also mention today, we, we've got Kinsobi, one of our youth intake graduates, on the bench. We might change up formation, with like yeah, that he's a AMC. We don't play that usually, but I'm training him up as a central midfielder and I think he's got the ability to play there. And if we need to, I'm, I'm going to try and push him forward maybe or just drop him into to Jones's position and see how he goes. But we'll see how the game gets on. But it's vital here that we get three points. So let's have a look at the Port Vale team. We have Langton in goal, Denton at left back, Wilson at right back, Smith and Anderson in central defence with Defratus and Doyle in central midfield. They have a front three attacking midfield pair of Harness, Mistretti and Worrell with Pike playing up front. So let's kick this game off and hopefully we'll get this game going and get three points on the table and, and stop our run of poor form. 
So the managers shake hands as the players prepare to come out on the pitch. They are having the photos taken and let's get this game underway. It's Warren, Cook, NJ, Woodcock, Rogers, Cooper, Cooper, and he's been dispossessed. Wara here for a free kick for Paul Vell. Harness has a go, but Garrett holds it easily. Langton with a goal kick for Paul Vell. De Freitas is now on the ball. Now Doyle or Worrell. The long ball forward, but NJ's controlled it. Is Rogers on the ball now? Cooper. Back to Rogers. Jones, Cooper. Rogers. And he's lost the ball. Pike on the attack here and easy hold for Garrett. So at half time it's a nil nil and we need to do something here because we're just not getting the, the shots on target. I don't know, I, we need to make sure that we don't concede a late goal again in this game. So Port Vale get the second half underway. Warrell on the ball now on the right side. He's got it forward but NJ's there to clear it up. Garrett to Cook. Cook to Sterling. Sterling's going to make a run. He's got past one. Can he get the cross in? Nope, because he can't keep up the ball. Worrell's got it to Pike. Cook's intercepted. NJ's cleared. Riley's on the break here. Can he get a shot in? He can, but Layton saves. Corner kick. Sterling out to Woodcock. Woodcock to Rogers. And Woodcock's had another attempt. Lane save. Garrett with a long kick out here. Nobody forward. Warren's intercepted that ball. Jones is on the ball. Warren. Rogers. Tries to get it to Cooper, but it's intercepted by Wilson. Wilson's got a long ball forward to Pike. Pike's on his own. Tailed it up. Defreitas. Harness. Into the middle. Pike. Great save by Garrett. So I'm gambling, I'm going all three subs, I'm bringing on Udar up front to replace Riley. Uh, Nidium's come out and we're bringing in Kinsobi for his competitive debut for crew. He's gonna, I've pushed him forward so we're losing the man back here but hopefully this will push us on. And Woodcock's come off because he's on that yellow, I'm a bit worried that he might get himself sent off. So Reese has come on to replace Woodcock. It's Warren with the throw in, Udar, Jones, Warren. Jones, back to Cook, who's got it forward to Rogers, Kinsobi on the ball, nice ball forward to Cooper, who's had a shot but it's been tipped over by the goalkeeper. Theresa here with the corner, Sterling, Jones, didn't get it to a player, Rogers here on the ball, didn't get the ball to Cooper but NJ's intercepted, Rogers has picked it up, Jones, Kinsobi, He's been brought down. Reese there intercepting that ball. It's now Cooper. Rogers. He's lost out. Worrell. Wilson. Long ball forward. NG's intercepted. Now Udar. He's been tackled. And Doyle, who's already on a yellow, is heading, I believe, down the tunnel. Paul Vella on the attack here, but Rogers has tackled him. He's tried to get it forward, but he's hit one of their players. Oh my god, goal kick. Layton with the long ball forward. Warren nods it, but only as far as Pope. Reese has intercepted that ball, got it back to Garrett. Garrett's, Garrett's gonna hoof it to Cooper. Cooper's kept it in. He's put it out wide to Sterling, but Sterling hasn't won the ball. It's now Port Vell on the attack again. Worrell's running forward, but he's had a bad shot. Cooper here on the ball. Bad pass by Cooper. We're, we're on the defence again, but Reese has beaten our Worrell to that ball. He's got it to NJ. NJ to Cooper. Cooper to Rogers. It's Kinsombi to Udar. Bad ball to Sterling, but Jones has got it back. Rogers, Udar, Cooper. And it's a goal, boys. It's a 1-0 goal. Leighton will be disappointed by that. And Sobe with the ball forward to Uda. Uda tried to get the ball to Sterling. 
but it was intercepted. But Jones intercepted there. Rogers got it forward to Udar. Udar tried to take a shot, but the defender there tackled Cooper, got the goal, and we are one 0 up late on against Port Vale. It's Cook here. Out to Warren. Warren to Sterling. Sterling to Kinsombi. Kinsombi forward to Udar, who's got it forward to Rogers to Cooper, who's had a shot and it's been saved by Layton. Warren to Kinsombi. Kinsombi to Udar. And Udar scores. Kinsombi, the young young lad with an assist there. The full time here at the Crew Alexander Stadium. We've finally stopped our rot of, of losses with a 2 0 win over first rivals Port Vale. And that, it was thanks to late goals by George Cooper and Daniel Udar, who received a great ball in from our academy graduate, Mr. Kinsombi. So he had a good game, 7.3 rating for his debut, came on and he'd done really well and maybe he's shown that we could actually adapt our formation a little bit to fit him at times. But we'll see how that goes and we'll see how his training goes to get him trained as a central midfielder as well. But we have finished that game with two goals to nil and let's move on and have a look at where we're going to return for the next episode. So, after finally stopping the rot with the four losses in a row, we've beaten fierce rivals Port Vale 2-0 at home, and we've got five games left of the season. So I'm going to come back and we'll play the Crawley and Cheltenham game, because they are the last two games of the season. And then we'll have to look at see what we do for the following episode. We'll probably have a review of the season, how it's gone on, where we need to improve at the moment we have a lot of players and it's a very young team and i'm finding tutoring a bit of an issue at the moment with the players not having players old enough to actually tutor them but yeah we'll come back for these two games in the next episode so thank you for watching if you'd like the video please don't forget to smash that like button leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks again and i'll see you next time